Hi, my name is Topher. This is Louis at Redport Global, and we're here to describe how to set up and use the Halo Wi-Fi extender system. The Halo Wi-Fi extender system is a marine Wi-Fi extender that will amplify the marina Wi-Fi and bring it into your boat. The Halo system comprises of the Wi-Fi extender, the long-range antenna, stainless steel mount, that has a rubber gasket that you would put around the wire before you run the wire in, with 10 meters of cable, the power source, and then the optimizer. It is a two-foot antenna, which is waterproof, which is designed to be mounted outside on your vessel. The Wi-Fi extender transmits with four watts of power, which is the maximum amount of power allowed by both the US and the European regulations. The Halo system comprises of the Wi-Fi extender, the long-range antenna that you need to make sure you screw into the Wi-Fi extender before you apply power to it, a stainless steel mount that you will run your ethernet cable through, and there is a gasket inside here, and you would take your ethernet cable, the side that doesn't have a, the power cable with it, the power side will go where the optimizer is, and you will run this through the side of the mount, and then up through the top, and then through the top of the stainless steel mount. Then you can add the gasket to it. Push the gasket down where it belongs. You'll want to wait to screw in the Allen screws until after you get it attached to the bottom of the Wi-Fi extender. So you'll plug this in. Then you can screw this base in. And then you can put this part back on. And I got one of the Allen screws in a little too much. And now you can tighten these screws to keep it in place. And that's pretty much what you have. And then you can take this side of it power over ethernet that comes with 10 meters of cable and you can run it up to 100 meters if you would like and you will plug this into a power source. The Wi-Fi extender is powered by 12 volts actually by anything between 9 and 20 volts DC. The unit can be powered with the AC adapter which is included in the package. There is an optional 12 volt adapter which is a cigarette lighter adapter, which um, can be used to power the unit. And finally, you can use a standard 2.1 millimeter barrel connector wired into the house batteries for your boat to power the unit. The Wi-Fi extender does not come with a mount. However, it uses a standard marine threaded mount, which is one inch by 14 TPI. These marine mounts come in a, norm, in a variety of different form factors and are readily available at your marina store, at your marina chandlery. To use the mount, purchase the one that you require and then just screw it into the bottom of the base. This particular mount is a deck top mount which screws into the top of your boat. The Wi-Fi extender should be located outside and possibly as high up as possible. Marina Wi-Fi is line of sight, so the further off the water, or the higher the antenna is mounted, the longer range you will have with the unit. The Wi-Fi extender connects to our red port optimizer through the LAN port on the back of the unit. The red port optimizer provides a hotspot for your boat, so you would use the Wi-Fi hotspot provided to you by the optimizer to connect your mobile devices such as your iPad or your iPhone. These in turn would be transmitted via the Ethernet cable out through the Wi-Fi extender and to the Marina Wi-Fi system. Once you've installed everything, you power it up. You know everything is installed correctly when the lights come on on the Wi-Fi extender and the lights come on on the optimizer. The unit is actually ready for use when you see some red, orange, and green lights blinking about once a second on the extender, and the lights on the optimizer are solid. So next, we'll show you how to configure the unit for use.